Hi everybody. For this week's art activity, we're going to be making some symmetrical butterflies. Now what makes an object symmetrical? Basically, objects that are symmetrical are the same on both sides. So for example, this heart, if I were to split it down the center, both sides are exactly the same. And I know this because when I fold it in half, there's no difference between the two sides. Today we're going to be making some butterflies whose wings are symmetrical. And for this activity, you're going to need a couple things. First, you're going to need a regular pencil. You're going to need a piece of paper and something to color with. It could be crayons, it could be markers, it could be paint, totally up to you. The last thing that you're going to need is something to transfer your design with. I have a couple things here that I can use. I could use the back of a colored pencil, as long as it doesn't have an eraser. I could use a spoon or I could use a popsicle stick. There are lots of different things that you can use for the transfer process, and we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to that point. So once you've gathered your material, it's time to get started. In order to make sure that our designs are symmetrical, we're going to be only working on half of the paper and then transferring our design to the other half of the paper so that we know that they're the exact same. Let's start out with the paper horizontal. We're going to begin by folding our papers in half like a book, matching up the corners as best we can and pressing down. Then we'll open it back up to see that our paper has been divided down the center. Next, I'm going to use my pencil to draw half of my design. I'm going to start out with the body of my butterfly. Now, I'm going to be working along this center spot, but I'm only going to be working on one side of my paper. So I'm gonna work on this side and I'm not going to draw anything on this side. I'm starting out by drawing the shape of my butterfly's body. Now, normally we talk about drawing very light just in case you want to erase something. For today's activity, you want to press down really hard with your pencil so that your marks come out nice and dark. I'm going to add the antenna for my butterfly. And now I'm going to add the shapes of the wings. And butterflies are really cool because a lot of them have different shapes for their wings. Some of them are more round, some of them are more pointed. If you want to look up pictures of different kinds of butterflies to get some ideas or inspiration, that's a great idea. I think I'm going to start out with my wing going up and curving and then back in. And now I need my bottom wing. Now these shapes are the shapes that I chose for my butterfly wings. Yours do not have to look like mine. They could be round, they could be pointed, they could have more wiggles to them. It's totally up to you. Next, I'm going to decorate my wings. I'm going to add some designs to them to make them a little bit more interesting. And remember, you want to press down really hard with your pencil so that your marks come out nice and dark. Now that I've finished drawing my design, it's time to transfer my design from one side of my paper to the other, and I wanna make sure that they're exactly the same. So to do this, we're going to be rubbing the paper so that this design transfers over to this side. In order to transfer my design from one side to the other, I'm going to need some sort of tool to rub my paper with. There are lots of different things that you can use. You could use a spoon, you could use a popsicle stick, you could use the end of a pencil where there's no eraser. Any of these things will work. And there are a lot of other things that you can use as well. So if you don't have something like this, you can find something around the house that you can use to rub your paper. So now that I have my tools, I'm going to fold my paper in half. And I wanna make sure that the side that's facing down is the side with my design. So the side that is on the table is going to be the empty page and the one that is facing down is my design. And if you press nice and hard, you should be able to see your design through the paper and that's gonna help you when you transfer so you'll know where to rub your paper. 
So I'm gonna grab one of my tools and I'm going to start by pressing really hard and rubbing everywhere that I see pencil. Now I want to check on my design, see how it's transferring. So I'm going to lift up my top paper and you'll see that where I rubbed, my pencil has transferred over to the other side of my paper. So I see that it's coming out really nice. I'm going to keep going and finish up the rest of my design. Okay, let's check and see how it came out. All right, so there are tiny little spots missing in some places, but I can see my whole design well enough that I can trace it. So I'm now going to take my pencil again, and I'm going to go over the other side where my design has been transferred so that it matches the first side. Now that I've finished tracing, my design is completely symmetrical. If I were to fold my paper together, it's a mirror image. They're exactly the same all the way through. Once your design has been transferred, it's time to color. I'm also going to make sure that my colors are symmetrical. So wherever I color on one side, I'm going to color the same on another. If I color this shape pink, I'm going to color the same one on the other side pink as well. If this one is orange, this one will also be orange. Okay, everybody, so I have finished my butterfly design and you can see that it is symmetrical. If I split it down the middle, the designs on both sides are the same. The shapes are the same and the colors are the same on both sides. And if I were to close my paper up and open it little by little, it's almost like a mirror where both sides look exactly the same as I open it. Remember, um, while I was rubbing my paper, I used my popsicle stick but you could use other things. You could use the back of a spoon to rub your paper. You could use the end of a pencil without an eraser, as long as it's something that is hard that is going to let you press on the paper to have the design transfer over. Um, so I hope that you enjoy this activity and I cannot wait to see your amazing butterfly designs. Bye everybody.